Good morning, campers. Welcome back to the Cut the Camera podcast. It's your host, Nick Cerniolo. Matthew Cerniolo. Banana, banana. And Chris. We were walking up the stairs yep. to come film, and Matt said, I'm tired. I'm like, bro, this is like yet another day, yet another podcast of Matt starting it by saying he's tired. Well, it's just, it's not even the I podcast. Actually, it's just I the actually, past three days, Matt has been tired. I even. didn't, I didn't start the podcast by saying I'm tired. Nick started the podcast by saying, I'm You entered tired. the podcast environment by telling me that you were tired. I didn't start the podcast like that, though. Hmm. Just okay. saying. Oh, he's tired talking, I'm yawning. No, but actually though, Matt's just been tired the last like three days. I'm not. It's I'm time to wake, wake up. Right we have Even after a fresh night's sleep, like you're tired. Like I'm wide weird. awake right now. I don't know what anybody's talking about. Yeah, you sound wide awake. It's just a bunch of nonsense and jibber jabber. Who wants jibber to take? Jabber. Well, who's been paying attention? Who knows what today's topic is? Murder mysteries. I had so much time awake that I found out the topic. There we go. Let's do you're it. You're talking really monotone already. So yeah, Nick, because you're annoying. I had so much time to sleep that I could figure out the topic. I think this is going to be a great episode. I'm very, I'm very, very excited. I'm very entertained about this shit. Mm-hmm. Like, I watch, like, true crime documentaries all day, every day. That's, like, my bread and butter. All right. That's, like, my one, like, thing that I'll watch alone. That's weird to me. No, like, I don't really watch TV. I don't really watch shows, like, without Nick and Matt. Like, whatever they put on, I really just watch whatever they're watching. Mm-hmm. Um, but murder mysteries, I'll go out of my way to watch on my own. That's very strange. Not really. It's just what I'm mostly entertained by. Well, like going out of your way to watch it alone is a little strange, I'd say. Nope. Same way you watched Snowfall in three days. <gasps> going out of your How way many to seasons is that show? Didn't, it took you a week didn't, to finish didn't it. Didn't take me a week. You guys are like it was like a, two weeks. You guys are the whole so exaggerate. Two exaggeratory. weeks. You started in January. No, I didn't. Okay, Matt. Whatever. Lies. When did you start watching? You it? You weren't watching. I started it during Christmas. watching it. A lit, like two weeks before Christmas. Wrong. Okay, that's fine. You can say okay, whatever you want. Okay, do like say like something that's like insider, like if you know, you know for that show. So like all the people watching are like, yes. <laughs> you know what I Go mean? Go ahead and st- start talking about the topic. All right, Matt, what was your favorite part of that show? Can you stop talking? Just tell us. Like relate to the to the content we're talking about. Do you, um, did you enjoy that show a lot? Yeah, it's a really good show. Nice. Like, what would you, would you recommend it to people watching? Yeah, it's a really good show. What is it about? Give us a brief summary. Chris, what are you talking I'm about? I'm just curious, Nick, aren't you? <laughs> not at all. I'm waiting. Okay. Like, stop Whatever. talking to me. Yeah, Holy I'm not shit. curious. Whatever. We were talking I about the show. I didn't know this so was going to be a questionnaire. I haven't talked about, about the show all. All right. Today, we're taking on the role of everyday detectives and... Ex- Today, we're taking on the role of everyday detectives and exploring unsolved crimes, viral murder mysteries, and lingering cold cases throughout history. I hate cold cases. Those are my least cold favorite. Cold cases have to be the most devastating thing ever. Yeah, yeah, I agree. If you don't know what a cold case is for the viewers, it's like when a case goes cold and they can't wow, solve Wow, thanks. The- Matt, can you stop? Because some people might not fucking yeah, know. Yeah, I get that. But his did you just hear his explanation, Nick? Yeah, it was great. Okay. A cold a case is when the case goes cold and they don't find any more. That's a valid thing, Matt. Go Correct. Figure. And, like, well, it's, it's called like a my... cold case because the case goes cold as if, like, think of when something freezes. If something is frozen in water, you can't, like, access it because you got to break through that frozen and stuff. It's basically yeah. like it's basically like they run out of evidence. They have no more leads and they have no more, like, anything to find the criminal or the killer or whatever case it is. And then the case just stays. Yeah, and like because it is so never crazy. gets solved. It is so crazy that there are some cold cases that go cold for like forty years, and then just like there's like an outbreak of information yes. that like helps or, them solve. Like someone will do like a new crime, like kind of like bank, Amelia then, like, Earhart's plane. Oh my god, I that was crazy. Matt told me the other day that they found Amelia Earhart's plane. Supposedly, they're sending. Supposedly. Did you put that video in the? I did not. Then we video. should so long. we should insert that video into the podcast. Can we do that? Yeah, we can just tell memo. Yeah, we should definitely do that. So explain it. Okay, well, the other day, Matt was like, guys, I have groundbreaking news. I'm going to wait till we film a podcast to tell you. But, but we, then we couldn't wait. But we, we couldn't film wait. a podcast for like two days, and we were like, we got it. We're itching to just someone to speak about this. So then Matt showed me and Nick while we were eating Matt barbecue. was recording me, and I was recording yeah, Chris. Like Matt's recording like three-angle 
three angle camera thing, but basically mine and Nick's live reaction to reacting to Amelia Earhart's. Well, that, like that's the thing they don't even you know. You guys about that. don't understand Amelia this. Like, Earhart. Amelia Earhart. When up, we were in school. Like I remember learning about Amelia Earhart in second grade, third grade, fourth grade. Like they were like, oh, she was a pioneer. She's a she's a determined woman. Yeah, she was doing something that no one had ever done before. It was like this big thing. Yeah, she, she was gonna fly. Her plane. She was gonna fly across. She was gonna be the first woman pilot to ever fly fully across the world. Crazy. And then halfway through or something, her, crash, they, they, she sank, crashed and something. they never found her ever, ever. ever. She but left and never landed. There's recent in recent discoveries. They it's claim, like I spent 13 they years. They think of my that life it's a plane like figure that can be linked to Amelia Earhart. Path, the exact on the exact path. path I've spent my whole Amelia Earhart. I spent my whole childhood yearning for more information about Amelia Earhart's plane. And you might and just I get finally it. have it. Yeah. Yep. Here's the big news. Ready? They found Amelia Earhart's plane today. No fucking way. They found her plane. A, a researcher that was driving a boat in the Pacific Ocean found what they think is Amelia Earhart's plane because it was on the map that she drew out oh that she was going God. to travel on and they are going to go and relook. But they found a plane looking thing underwater in the middle of the pacific o- no ocean shit. where else did they think it was literally literally a couple miles off of where she was last seen refueling that plane so now they're going to do a second investigation i, would, I never thought i was gonna ever hear anything about amelia Earhart ever again in my life the actual chills that kind of went down my spine right when you spoke was crazy i need to google this moving forward we got true crime back on track basically first question do you consider yourself a crime junkie? Yeah, unfortunately I do. It's just so it's it's like interesting. Like obviously you just like it's so fucked up. You're That's just why so, it's like, you're just it's like so a curious to like what leads that person to do that. Such crazy things. Yeah. And it's like it's also crazy to me that like like the second a big crime happens or like there's a killer, it's like you're literally like everyone knows who you are. Like everyone in the well, world. Well, that's why a lot of people will do that is for fame. Yeah, which, which is, is crazy. So it's like, but it's like, bro, it's like to do that shit just to like have your name out there, or whatever. Is so lame. So like we're getting too into this right now. You're also just like gonna rot in jail for the rest of your life, you dirty scum. Like that's what mm-hmm. I love. Scummy to say scum, to literally, dirty scum, scum. But yeah, I thoroughly enjoy like learning about it. I think it's like very strange interesting. and interesting. I agree. Some said do you, it says do you listen to cr- true crime podcasts? I can't listen. I gotta see. I gotta. I like, agree. I. My thing is my eyes, my eyes and my ears are best friends. If I can't see you, I can't hear you. If I can't hear you, I can't see you. Yeah. Kind of how it goes for me. I agree. So it's like okay. listening to a podcast. I need that visual element. Kind of like, like our podcast. I knew when we were like going into starting this, like we needed a visual element because it's like, I cannot, I know if I'm a viewer, I can't listen to a podcast and gather Yeah, but that's also that like some people like to listen to the podcast, like driving to work and you no, obviously. No, not me. I yeah. uh, see if I was listening to songs and this is this is like an ongoing argument that me Matt and Chris have and it's so off topic but I'll tell Matt and Chris like do not play new music while we're like taking a drive because if we're driving and I'm listening to new music I get an instant headache. I need to like be in a parked car. No, that's or, not like, it. In Nick, the house. It's not new music. Nick, it, it, I could play any song. It's like if Nick doesn't know the words of the song or it, if I don't recognize the song if it's he like claims the first it time gives I him heard a headache. It, it gives me a headache. Same way. Like what well, Nick though, that's like to counter your argument like what's the prime place for you to listen to a song with a parked he was just saying, car? Yeah. A sitting in my bed, sitting in the living room with you guys at the kitchen table. I can't be like, it's the second I'm focused on something else. The reason I'm saying this is like, if I was, I, I can't drive, but if I was driving in a car and I was listening to like a true crime podcast or I was listening to a new album I had never heard before, the likelihood of me crashing this vehicle goes up 25%. Because my brain is distracted. I'm listening to this person talk to me. I'm trying to focus on this new song. As the driver, I'm Matt, crash. does this make any sense for him to be saying all this? Well, if I like need to actually focus on driving, I just completely drown out all audio around me. See? It's like if I'm driving, it's like I'm also not going to play the new music or play an, a like, fucking like true crime podcast everybody, for it to be background noise that I'm not even Everybody has that intel. moment where it's like you almost just got into a car accident and you like have to put yourself on like music timeout for a second. You know what I yeah. mean? You're just annoying in the car with like music and Saw stuff. Saw this coming. Well, you are. Go Boom, ahead. Hey, Chris, pause it for a second. 
doesn't pause it. Hey, Chris. You, I don't think, hey, Chris, I don't you, think those hey, words Chris, have you, ever come out until it? right then. Hold on. Hey, Chris, can you pause <laughs> I actually don't it's think usually, it's usually, shut this fucking song off. No, it's, not, it's always like literally Matt will do something. That I was will literally, fully... say, it's like this. You know what I mean? Good example. Not true. You're just starting to yap. I think we need to all have, like learn, especially you, is like, like, it, like projecting, right? Because it's like, I'm not going to take you seriously talking that quiet. I'm not talking quiet Me at either. All. I need you to project at me. I need to feel the emotion. What I'm you're not saying. talking. Well, it's also like Matt never respectfully asks me to shut some like the. This is off. all irrelevant to the topic. No, other, but, the, but this is how it goes. Other it than got the fact, here. other it than the not, fact that you have to, <laughs> you have to tell Chris four times to pause the music. Not true. Correct. One time, one nice time, one polite time, Ooh, one nice time, one negative time. Times. I'm gonna turn it up. Yeah, that's the most annoying thing, though. If it's if more I say, annoying. If I, I say it negatively, I, I, I Nick, can understand. Nick, if I say it negatively, I this shut up. Go if I say it negatively, topic. it's okay if you like keep it on to like prove your point. But raising it is only gonna inflict more anger, and you're aware of that. Yeah, Waiting correct. for a positive outcome, correct. you're triggering. If somebody. Matt was about to park and he goes, "Can you shut the music off real quick so I can park?" I'd say for sure. No, you would. Yes, say, I would. You'd say, "Hold on, my favorite verse is about." Yeah, you'd rap. And then you'd rap to it, and then if you ever ask me, "Yo, can you shut the this off real quick politely i would 100 percent not in that moment it. my I can't, least yeah, favorite I thing I is when i politely ask serious. i no, can't even take that last serious. thing i'm gonna say is my least favorite thing is when i politely ask and you sing like the next three bars to my face before shutting it off it's like let's just call it quits when i fucking asked please my least favorite thing is when instead don't of don't care don't care next topic nick please thank you oh my god my least favorite thing is when matt just like don't he'll be care. fucking who like instead of saying anything, I'll just like and like frantically shut it off and like lower the volume. I'm like, okay, fucking relax, dude. You're freaking me out. Just moves <laughs> too quick. <laughs> like settle down. There's always okay. there's always a reason to what I'm doing in the car. Okay. There's a, there's always a reason. Are you guys done? I'm gonna hey, start kids making fun of me. And I'm he's gonna start doing cups everywhere. I'm gonna start doing like, the pod like Matt. Are you guys done with the goo and gah sensation here? Giving each other little babies, little act, little acting like little babies. Okay, you guys I'm need done to grow acting up. like a little baby. Can you stop? This stop is, fucking around, seriously. It's That's so how corny. I feel doing a podcast so with Matt. It's like you can't say it with that cute long sleeve shirt on. It looks like you're like a little kid. I just associate long sleeves with like little kids. It's like such a cute little outfit. Like you just look like as cute as a button. Stop right being now. weirdo. Carry you on. You too, Matt. Even that. That's a little, even little kiddier type of long sleeve. <laughs> That's just, you guys just both look too cute. He called I you can't. little kiddier. No, you guys just both look so adorable. All right. Go to the next thing, you fucking weirdo. All right. Would you guys <laughs> be, is, would us. you be smart enough to get away with murder? Nobody is, bro. Nobody's getting away with murder in this current time frame of the world. I know exactly what I'd do. You have no idea. Okay, Nick. shut the fuck up. You have no idea. Because if, no, the, it if is they crazy are smart that, enough like, to get in away like with 10 it, years we're gonna get like getting there's gonna be like a it. news thing, and it's gonna be like serial killer that's been aggressively, secretly killing people for the past 10 years, finally imprisoned, and here's a kill log that like we'd never seen before. Like you know what I mean? What's like, crazy? That's crazy. Yeah. I agree. But there's not much. It's crazy, so though. Much like, tech. how it's crazy. Yes, I was about to say, it's crazy how difficult it is nowadays. Like, shout every, out forensics. Everything is trackable. Every little forensics thing. Forensics are so helpful. Shout out forensics. Shout out technology. You're doing the world a favor. Yeah, everything on your phone, ring doorbells, literally everywhere. You ring. can't, like, there's literally not a time in this world where you're not on camera, besides, like, in your own home. All right, we have one of those little fun question segments. Are you guys ready? I know. You what? I thought I saw a bug. I know you guys love these. I'm ready. <laughs> Would uh, how many unsolved murders, cold Oof. cases, do you think there are in the U.S. In the U.S. like right now, or like like from in the past year in the U.S. from 1965 to 2021, based on data from the FBI. 1965 to 2021. So how many years is that? 1965 to 2021 is. 70 2021 what what's the other year 1965 it's like 50 1965 it's like 56 Nick? years is it 1965 yeah it's like 56 all you have to years say and i'll find out 56 correct yeah. thank you all you have to do is read all i have to do is use my fucking brain okay, so i'm not a kindergartner years. let's do um dude what the fuck stats are you doing 1684 matt come on I don't know. 1,000 in the U.S. in 65 years? Cold cases? Are you 10, stupid? 
Matt, come on. Okay, Chris. I'm going to do... I don't, I don't care. Just get to the Matt, point. Well, it's like this fucking idiot. Like, I hate, I hate 52,000. It takes Chris so long. 52,000. I have a more devastating answer. And no way. For you both. Well, 100K? like, yeah, because this is stupid. Because uh, uh, fucking cold up, case Matt. is going to be like a one-off robbery in fucking Kentucky. I don't Kentucky. think that's true. 100K? 340,000. That is insane. Yeah. They, we need to crack down on that. We I'd love to, to hear what Matthew did to try and figure this out. Yeah, I agree. He just threw out I'm a random talking number. to you. Yeah, he's literally speaking. You, did you right not just say the word? Looking into your eyes. Did you not just say the word Matthew? Matt. No, no I said I'd love to hear what kind of Matt you. T-H. M-A-T-H you did. No, that's not what I heard. I heard I'd like to see what Matthew did. Or <laughs> Why like, would I call you Matthew? Isn't that exactly it what is you It is. Matthew okay. and Matthew, Matthew is the same is, thing. Like, that's your, your name. name is Matthew. Matthew. Okay. Yeah, when in, he said I'd like to hear what Matthew did. When would Dude, Dude, I ain't calling you Matthew. No one Matthew calls you that. Content. Nobody calls you. You have to that. stop. I thought you said Matthew did. Like I want to know what Matthew did. I like barely get <laughs> no, called like, Matthew. No, addition. I want to know what addition. Oh, I'm aware. Multiple. Math. You did. That's what you want to know. You didn't sound. That would have been the first time in her YouTube I didn't career. Didn't sound it out. It's the same word. That would have been the first Matthew time in her YouTube career. It's like Matthew, Matthew did. Like, like what math did I do? And then Matthew did. Like, Skip, I want to go to the next. Did. When he starts Matthew doing this, Nick, just start like, reading the next the fuck? thing. You're, you can't Please. gaslight me into thinking that it's not the exact same sentence. Well, I took 65,000 years, and then I guesstimated how many I think there is per year, and then did that times 65. Okay. Yeah, you were wrong. Yeah, I know. Sure. California, New York, and Texas have the highest reported numbers of unsolved crimes. Makes sense. Big city. Yeah. The Lone Star State. Is that what Texas is? Yes. Why well, I made that up. <laughs> that's, um, no, that's fully real. Oh, yeah. If you were going to solve a murder, where would you begin? Um, The crime scene? <laughs> Duh. <laughs> it's like pretty obvious answer. I feel like the crime scene wouldn't be as helpful as just knowing who's dead and like talking to people who are alive that knew them. Yeah, I agree. Well, yeah, yeah. Wrong. You don't agree. I meant like it was a joke on like actual physical location. Like where would you start? I'm going to start at the crime scene. Like haha joke cuz like you have to start there. Super funny. Um, I can't I can barely contain myself. It was just hilarious. Yeah, but that's what you do. You go up to the family and you go, "Would anyone be any like would anyone be like enemies with this person that you know of?" Oh, you're so on it. Yeah, you got it. You're solving this crime. Yeah. And it'd be like, mm, "They always talk shit about their coworker Dan." They'd be like, Really? What's his name and where does he work? And they'd be like, oh, Dan. Dan, 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 Dan. Dan, Dan. <laughs> and he um, works at uh, the um, the fast, All right, the dude, fast, you're fast like gas station. Murmuring. And then I'd go there and then I'd walk in and I'd be like, is Dan here? And then he'd be like, yeah. And I'd be like, oh, do you know where um, your buddy no, I'd be like, Dan's not here. He's actually on a vacation. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. And then he I'd won the out lottery. Exactly. Yeah. Something and crazy. then I'd crack out from there. Love that for you. Yes. You have to look at motive as well. You have to see if there was anything stolen from the crime scene because then it's just like a thief robbery. And a it thievery. It could have been a robbery thievery gone wrong. Thievery is top 10 words for me. Yeah, that's a good word. Thievery. Yeah. But no, the, when when you go to a crime scene and there's Mid-word. nothing stolen, it shows the motive was just a pure kill, the person. Terrifying. Yeah. Like if someone walked in and us three were dead and all of our valuables were still in the house, they'd be like, someone just wanted those motherfuckers gone. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Cause like if you kill someone and you, I understand the whole thing. Yeah, yeah, I got it. Thank you. Um, Famous unsolved crimes: the Zodiac Killer. He's still out and about. We don't know who that is. Probably dead, but a serial killer in Northern California in the late 1960s and early 1970s. He was known for taunting police and media with cryptic letters, ciphers, and phone calls, Mm. despite. Extensive investigations, the killer's identity remains unknown. The Zodiac Killer is created with five confer- or credited with five confirmed murders, though claimed to have killed as many as 37 people. He got the name Zodiac because he sent a series of cryptic letters to local newspapers in the Bay Area, and in one of the letters, he referred to himself as the Zodiac. Okay. The letters included puzzles that claimed he would reveal his identity if solved, and the identity remains unknown. It's just crazy to me that, like, since he's, like, such, like, a 
popular famous like serial killer there's like sick fucks out there that like want to pretend they're him yeah yeah like they'll like call in and be like i'm the zodiac killer. no yeah like, or, you or wish people you were that like kill killer. somebody and literally pretend that they were them yeah mm -hmm. like like copycat killers so that like try to like take credit that's that shit's crazy well he's that's he's insane. claimed that he killed 37 people but he it's also like say is, someone went to jail credited with definitely five say someone goes to jail insane. for murder right and they literally killed somebody they could also have like done the other murders and they just haven't fessed up to it. Like the Zodiac, the Zodiac killer could be in jail right now for murder, but he just hasn't owned up to the other kills. Nah, if you're gonna, if he's gonna be in jail for murder, he's gotta be like, want to take credit for his other ones. Not if it's like a short, if he thinks he could get like a shorter sentence or like escape somehow. Yeah. He's not gonna want The Zodiac killer is just crazy to me. Like, how are you killing so many people and just nobody knows about it? Yeah, that's it's like so, so terrifying. That's so insane. I also like one of the, my favorite ways that serial killers get caught is when they are like any killers in general is when they own up to something only the killer would know. It's like, damn, like that's like the, it's such a boss way to catch somebody. You know what I mean? Like what? Like if like someone like, I don't know, they just say something like have you seen that video of the judge and uh, the girls like, yeah, they stole he, he, they stole yeah. my wallet and it like had like my MBTA fucking thing. And he's like, and no, had, that wasn't in there, ma'am. Yeah, like, it had like my my fucking lip balm in there and iPod touch. And then the guys were like, there was no iPod touch in the purse, ma'am. And then it's like, it's like, bro, how'd, how'd you, you know, know, bro? Yeah. Or like the one that, that's no, hilarious. One of the ones that makes me laugh so hard is the, um, they're in court over a stolen dolphin jersey Miami, and yep. the guy has it on. In the, court. in the courtroom. Yeah. Oh my they're, God. They're like, they're, the judge is like reading the paper and she's like, so we're here today to like dispute like a stolen Dolphins football jersey. And she looks up and the guy just has it Wearing on. And she's it. Like, <laughs> like, oh my God. Yeah. I need to see this clip right. It's so funny. Ends. It's so funny. Uh, next famous unsolved crime. Joan or John Bennett. J-O-N-B-E-N-E-T. All one word. John mm. Bennett. John Bennett. Because that has like an accent. Oh, fancy. I have no fucking idea how to say that. Ramsey. He was a, was a six-year-old beauty pageant queen who was murdered. Six years old? Yeah, like the mom's doing him up in the updo and like the sash. Is it a boy or a girl? I don't know. It says John. I feel uh, like John Benet. Like, look at this name. Joan? 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 J-O-N. J-O-N. Capital B. Yeah. No space. E-N. E with an accent. Okay. T. Okay. Say that. I, I don't know how to say remember. it. Yeah, crazy. Was a six year old beauty pageant queen who was murdered in Boulder, Colorado in 1966. Her parents. Yeah, it's a girl. Yeah. Beauty queen, drag queen, um, reported her missing, then found her in the basement of the house seven hours later. Basement with their her house? Then found her in the basement of the house several hours later with her hands tied and oh. duct taped over her mouth. That's fucked up. She was strangled and suffered a blow to the head. A mysterious ransom note was found in the house. It was unusually long and demanded $118,000 for her safe return. But it's like it was with her dead body. So it's like, what? Oh, no, the ransom note was found in the house, but she was found in the basement. So I'm assuming they found the ransom note that was like, we'll return her if you give us $118,000. She's already dead downstairs. That's crazy. That's insanity. Um, in 2008, fuck? DNA testing cleared all family members. And D DNA evidence suggests an unknown male as the killer. Despite the body being found, some conspiracy theorists believe that Ramsey has grown up to be Katy Perry. Okay. Because well, like they look a lot alike. I've seen correct. that. I've seen that. Like a girl went missing and that it makes looked no like Katy Perry, and they were like, "Oh, it's just Katy Perry." I hate. I hate that shit. There's another one with like. I hate conspiracies that people try to person. just like make it a thing, and it's like so obviously not. Yeah. You know what I mean? No. The the ransom note being upstairs and her body being downstairs is it's like, like the crazy. craziest thing. It's like we'll return her for a hundred eighteen. No, the craziest thing to me is that's in their house. Like when they were gone, like they just like. Yeah, her parents found them home, but and then DNA cleared. See, this is why we fuck with forensics and DNA. It cleared everyone in the family from not doing it. Love yep. that. That's so. But insane. I also don't get how DNA evidence can suggest an unknown male as the killer, because without knowing who it is. Well, there's male and female G like DNA. I think like you can tell. 
Like, yeah, but like, let's just to. specify whose that is. If they had a DNA sample of the guy who did it, and they're like, oh, it could be a guy. Well, they don't. That's probably why it's not known. A DNA evidence suggests an unknown male is the killer. Correct. So they probably don't have like a DNA match. It's crazy, like how much you can find out about someone just off of like, like a hair, like a hair, or like a tooth, or like a. Like, teeth are crazy. Teeth yeah. are crazy. Or like, what's like something that like is so minuscule? Like, I don't know. Fingernails. No, that's obvious. That's like that's fingerprint and like Nails. fingernails. Yeah, what are you gonna? A skin particle. Yeah, it's crazy. Fabric. How much- Fabric. Fabric. If I had a crazy. fucking, if I had this shirt on and killed somebody, and then my shirt like grazed like a nail, and then they found like this piece of fabric, they could be like, that is an. That is a white T Hanes fucking yeah, and, they, and then they, they can match shirt like, classic. Literally, they can Insane. match your shirt to the shirt there, like under a microscope and shit. Crazy, and it's like the same fucking craziness. Thing. No, do you know that's like how the Night Stalker like mostly got caught was because of um, one his, his teeth because mm-hmm. he had to go to the dentist, and then um, yes, like his shoes. Like, he, when he was breaking into one of the houses, he, like, lifted the window. And then when he, like, lifted the window frame, he pushed he down, pushed on the down ground. and it, like, left, left his a footprints. solid footprint. Yeah, like, his footprints, like, pushed into the dirt. See, that's crazy. And the shoes that he was wearing was, like, it was, like, a like in that colorway that he had. Like, like he, they couldn't know the color off of the shoe print because, yeah. obviously, you can't tell what color the shoe is. Mm-hmm. But they were, like... Every person that was like an eyewitness of him as like a killer said that he had like all black on whatever like oh all black all black so they were like okay he must have been wearing black, black shoes. shoes so then the style shoe that matched that size and that foot was like there was only like eight hundred made or something and then so then oh they, wow yeah so yeah. eight hundred because that's a that's another thing that's so crazy about like so that type they, of shit like nowadays though is like things become like a trend so much that like. If someone in modern time killed, so- like it would be harder to no, find. No, if a somebody person. killed somebody with white Air Force on, yeah, white Air, Air Force Forces on. and a Stanley Cup, Stanley Cup to the head, it'd be like that could be anybody. True, <laughs> you know what Cup. I mean? Yeah. There's so many people with a white yeah. Air Forces and a no, Stanley Cup. No, but like Cup. literally, like there was only like 800 of those shoes made, and like that's in, fucking and then, crazy. And then like in his size, it was like 36, and then, and then like two of them. And then that ones that got shipped to that store was like five. So then they slimmed it down, and then like the, the to like the owners of people. See, that's who my big fear is like someone murdering somebody that has the exact same like s- tattoo locations as me and like same fucking shoes i promise you the only that's person and the then only they're person? like oh it's like between him or him we gotta investigate no 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 <gasps> the only way that that would ever happen is if me or matt killed somebody isn't that crazy but like identical twins have like the same dna where it's like we're not identical but if two identical qu- twins like went and like an identical if a twin went and murdered somebody they could like run the DNA at the crime scene by the other twin and be like, it was him. Yeah. <gasps> so crazy. The it's only also thing crazy. that's different is fingerprint it, for twins. That's crazy. Yeah, that's, that's insane. actually bonkers. It's crazy that if someone killed someone in a Let's Trip shirt, we'd catch their ass. It'd be so easy to find them. We can go in the back end and like scroll through and be like, okay, where is the location of the murder? Okay. Mm, let's give me a random place. We'd be like, Iowa, whatever. Scroll through the, all the purses in Iowa. We could slim it down quick, mm. down to the style. And but everything. no murder, yeah, right. no murder. Yeah, 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 don't don't kill anyone. No murder. Yep. Um, <laughs> modern day crimes and social media. Recent crimes that have taken social media by storm. Gabby Petito. Petito. Oh, I've seen this. A young woman who went missing during a van life road trip with her fiance in t- 2021. The I case that. garnered widespread media attention and public interest, partly due to the couple's active social media presence documenting their travels. Mm. After Gabby was reportedly missing and her remains were found in Wyoming, her fiancé returned to Florida and would not cooperate with authorities. He later went missing and after a widespread manhunt was found dead by self-inflicted gunshot wounds. Or a self-inflicted gunshot wound. One wound. TikTok played a significant role in the case. Users shared theories That's and crazy. analyzed the couple's online posts and discussed developments in real time. So, like, while there was developments in the case, people would get on TikTok. Be like, guys, you see what, like, the update and the Gabby fucking whatever. I remember, I remember, this. remember this being Me too. such a thing. Also, some users contributed val- valuable insight by highlighting discrepancies in the timelines and analyzing body language in the videos. 
We all know there are things in life you have to compromise on. Who gets to sit in shotgun, choosing where the family goes for dinner, or staying in your budget when you're shopping for a new car? But when it comes to your health, there's no compromise. So don't go back to that one doctor who treats your appointment like a generic ketchup, or just because they're the only one available, or the only one you can find who takes your insurance. ZocDoc is a free app and website where you can search and compare highly rated in-network doctors near you and instantly book appointments with them online. Once you find the doctor you want, you can book them immediately. No more waiting on hold with a receptionist. And these docs all have verified reviews from actual real-life patients. ZocDoc lets you book appointments with tens of thousands of top-rated, patient-reviewed, credible doctors and specialists in all fields. You can filter specifically for ones who take your insurance, are located near you, and treat basically any condition you're searching for. The typical wait time to see a doctor booked on ZocDoc is between just 24 and 72 hours. That's it. You can even score same-day appointments. We know how urgent and stressful it can be when you need to see a doctor right away, and ZocDoc is the perfect tool to help you book same-day appointments. With our crazy busy schedules, ZocDoc is ideal for us to find a doctor and get an appointment ASAP. Go to ZocDoc.com slash camera and download the ZocDoc app for free. Then find and book a top-rated doctor today. That's Z-O-C-D-O-C dot com slash camera. ZocDoc.com slash camera. This collective online sleuthing brought additional attention to the case, demonstrating the impact of social media in modern investigations. Yeah. See, that's the thing that is so crazy to me is like, Jesus Christ. With cold man. cases is like, if there's enough people who just really care, we could solve them. Yeah. If there was like a police officer that had access to all 340,000 cold case files and like one at a time went on TikTok and was like, hey guys, like on like the cold case TikTok account. Nick. Was like, this is insane. We got a cold case. Like, let's all work together and do it. Genuinely, the general public of people. Like, they could be, like, they could have a lead that they don't know of, and then they, like, go well, and no, talk about it, like, and they'll be like, oh, that, bitch, that girl's on my volleyball The team. whole thing is that, yeah, no, the whole thing like, is that, like, the internet makes the world so much smaller than it already is. You I know. know what I mean? But then and everybody's like, gonna start lying. I know. That's another thing. It's also, because we recently watched the, we recently watched the, um, we went into Boston to look at the Christmas lights and stuff, and yeah. when we were driving through Boston, we were right near where the Boston bombing happened, yeah. and so we recently watched the Boston bombing documentary that's on Netflix, mm -hmm. And it literally showed that, like, when it became public news of, like, oh, these are the people we're trying to catch or, like, oh, it, like, it was, like, a bombing, they were, like, photoshopping, like, duffel bags, like, in the middle of the fucking, like... Yeah, people that do like, that shit are, like, they have no time yeah. on their hands. Like, dude, get a life. Or they photoshopped, like, a surveillance footage. They photoshopped someone, like... Too much like, time on their all hand. all the way. I said that wrong. Yeah. They photoshopped someone, like, all the way on, like, the top of a building, like, three buildings or, over. No, it was probably like, this even, guy on the building. Even, like, people that don't like their boss, they're like, oh, I know... I think the like Boston bomber was like so and so, <gasps> like, and people will accuse Dude, there their needs own. To be like, more, there needs to be more of a punishment for fake leads and crime I, stories. I like, I if you submit, agree. if you submit a photo that uh, you literally actively photoshopped a duffel bag onto the ground yeah, of a there known be crime scene, I fully agree. That's insane. I fully that's agree. like mind blowing to me. I completely agree. I just also don't know who's like consciously doing that. Yeah, like that's it's, how to be. One, first of all, the most unhelpful person ever. Yeah. And two, annoying as fuck. Yeah. It is so Weird. crazy the impact social media has on, like, just modern day stuff and, like, finding people. It's, like, actually insanity. Yeah. Like, the second something's on the internet and it's, like, people are looking for someone or anything, like, bro, it spreads like a wildfire. Like, it's actually insane nowadays how quickly it moves. Very insane. Even, like, dude, ring doorbells, bro, like... Well, it's just crazy to me that also it's like it's so like technology has helped us so much to the point where there's like there's so many surveillance things where it's like if you're thinking about like like a strip mall. Right. Yeah. And like there's a crime like at a like a house like down this street. Right. Bro. Th wait. And then they're like like the person's like like you can literally go from the house. If that house has a ring doorbell, you can look at where they, what time they got to the house. Mm -hmm. And then you can go on that street. If someone and look at the security camera from like the red light over here and then watch them go back even more. Yep. And then you can see like, 
a, a fucking someone was walking their dog and taking a video of their dog and he's like in the background over there and Insane. then that person was here at that time so you can look at um, that security camera Mr. footage um, and you're like all the way back when you were talking like about a strip mall it reminds me of that whatever just happened in Florida where like they claim it was like two kids fist fighting or something in the mall did I tell you this the aliens yes something like that I'm pretty sure, like, by the way, that... There was, like, two kids fighting in a mall is what the news headline was. But there was, like, 90-plus police cruisers at the mall. Like, literally, like, hundreds and hundreds of them. And people were like, what the fuck? Like, why is there so much police? And all they said was, like, like the news was just like, oh, it's two kids, like, fighting, whatever. You and have then, to be an absolute, complete fucking bozo to say that aliens aren't real. I agree. To say I that agree. aliens do not exist... Bozo. Dude, open a computer. What were you going to say, Matt? Um... I'm pretty sure I just saw the other day that Ring has like a new like lawsuit or new thing that like cops can't just like go up to people and be like, there's like a crime. Like we need your ring. Well, yeah, footage. like that right now like you can't can't do it anymore, which I think is oh dumb. Oh, my like, God. Grow like, up. Like you need to like if you're if I'm on a house. If I if I own a house and my ring doorbell's right here and someone gets like hit by a car or something or like someone gets gunned down in the street right in front of my house, yeah, I would want to figure out who the fuck like did that. Correct. Like, yeah. But like now you it's like Well, actually I wouldn't. I wouldn't want to know. But no, I'm just saying like I would give them my ring footage if the police I don't asked. know. It gets it. I don't know that. Yeah, it that gets, gets it. I don't it gets know. Well, it's little. just so scary cuz like if the person's still out there and they know that you just gave your ring footage, you could be next, you know what I yeah. mean? Like that's terrifying. Yeah. <laughs> Very. Oh my god. Yeah, but you can't they can't like just yeah. take it anymore. If I, I was like the head of police trying to catch killers and I was like on the news talking like we're going to catch you serial <gasps> killer. Don't even say this. <laughs> I'm being for real. No, cuz that's so scary. You know what I mean? Like, like I don't publicly know. Being against someone Publicly, who's like, actively running after people? a serial killer, like I couldn't sleep. Oh at night. no! Like if I was uh -uh. like the lead detective no, no, in like no, a serial no, killer no. case, I would not want my face shown on the internet. But no, they don't care, bro. They get in like the press conference and they're like, "We're gonna find you. We're gonna like get you. For <gasps> Give what up you now!" Yeah, like oh they go god. hard. Oh my god! But yet again, you're like a cop sleeping with like a gun in your nightstand and like and probably twenty four seven security. No, no. Why not? Because you have a gun, like you're. Fine. But it's like if someone is publicly doing that, it's like know, the, give them a security guard or three. I don't know, bro. That shit just gets crazy. Oh, that's so scary. It that is so scary. scary. Guys, I have to use the bathroom really bad. Go to the bathroom. Okay. All right, guys. Resuming. Chris just took an actual fifteen minute ship. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> Between this, just, so he's just doing. I give the knowledge. forgive me if I don't really remember where we were at because. <laughs> Guys, I tried to hold him. Up. <laughs> Go ahead, that was a murder mystery. Right moving there. forward, moving forward, getting massacred the bathroom. You got to do what you got to do sometimes, man. I had a cheese pizza earlier. That's all I'm saying. Okay, is social media helping or hurting? Countless Both. TikTok and YouTube accounts dedicated to unsolved crimes, and true crime is a top <laughs> podcasting category. I'd say both. I'd say both because obviously there's some help, but obviously like way too many people will just hurt it because people are delusional. Well, yeah, yeah so people uh, just think like, they know what they're talking about and, and they're just no dead idea. Wrong. What's well, going how on. I think about it is like on the internet. One thing yeah. that's super unfortunate, but like also fortunate. It's like a weird thing, is that there is actually a market for this type of stuff because there are people like me that are super interested in it. Yeah, but you, you know couldn't I mean? help and. No, I can't help it. I'm saying like the the reason it's like social media, like like it said, like the um true crime podcasts are number one, whatever. It's because there is a market for this. Well, that's why it's just so that's fucked why like up Netflix so many has people... a whole section dedicated to true crime. Because well, it's true so crime, fucked up that people are like, there's like, such a market in for like saying like what the fuck is going on. It's just like it's not fucked up. It's just people are genuinely curious. It's like a very like weird, strange people are curious about it type of thing. It's like actually... I think like on the actual like oh like solving the murder side, I think it's just super overwhelming. I think it's like the same way where like. You can't trust anything online. You know what I mean? And, you, mm -hmm. and some people lie. Some people are telling the truth. And it's like a, it's an open platform for anyone to speak. I think yeah. I think personally, too many people online yeah. just can. If there was speak like a limited w a way to like limit the amount of like yeah, but there never will be because never then you be. can't just like swipe. But like a the way that I think away. about it though yeah, is I know, like know I mean yeah. the way that I think about it though is like these cases would not be online. If like the police stations or the FBI or like the actual people trying to solve them, I think like, social media put, helps. Like there. as you in, know what like, I mean. Social media helps us in like letting like true facts travel the the world. Yeah, and like hey, 
like if there's like a robbery and it's like someone in like a yeah, red jacket in fucking Oak Street of fucking whatever Colorado um, whatever they're gonna find the motherfucker because they're gonna spread it to every person yeah. in Colorado you know what I mean yeah it just hurts it when there's like the fucking fibbers that are like oh it's actually my cousin like as a prank like yeah, yeah. Joking. ha 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 moving on yeah I hate when people lie on the internet because then it just travels too quick celebrity murder mysteries. Oof. Tupac and the Notorious B.I.G. Yeah. Mm. Um, two of the most high-profile unsolved murders. They're f- wow, I didn't know Mr. B.I.G. was murdered. Yeah, you did Why did you address him as Mr. B.I.G.? I don't know. Mr. Big? Okay. That's just crazy to me. I didn't know he was murdered. Um, yeah. Theories about their deaths involve complex narratives of rivalry, conspiracy, and the music industry. Tupac was killed in a drive-by shooting in Las Vegas, Nevada on September 7th in 1996, and he was 25 years old. That's crazy to me. Why did I think yeah. he was way older? The incident like, occurred shortly after Tupac attended a boxing match between Mike Tyson and Bruce Selden. That's so we crazy. We love to me. Mike Tyson. Well, actually, I don't really? know. I just think he's funny. Yeah. Like his lisp and his like tattoo. Like I love Mike Tyson. Yeah, yeah, he's a nice guy. He just makes me laugh. I don't know anything <laughs> about him past that. He's a nice guy. Um, yeah, he he actually owns a bunch of pigeons. Did you know that? Yeah, he forward. has like a, a pigeon room at his house or something, and it's just like a ton After of. After the match, Tupac was riding in the passenger seat of a car Peacocks. driven by the no. head of Death Row Records. When the vehicle was stopped at a red light near the Las Vegas Strip, a white Cadillac. Cadillac pulled up beside them and gunfire erupted, striking Tupac multiple times, and he was rushed to the hospital where he succumbed to his injuries six days later. Whoa. Oh my god! Awful. I didn't know all that. Is That's it crazy. big or is it Big? Like what should B-I-G. I say? Big. <laughs> Mr. Big was crazy. Big was also killed in a drive-by shooting in L.A. on March 9th, 1997, at the age of 24. The incident wow. occurred shortly after midnight as he was. Leaving as he was leaving, I gotta search up something. Hold on, it's so while crazy stopped to me at the like intersection of Fairfax and Wilshire, a Chevy Impala pulled up beside him and opened fire, shooting Big four times. Both deaths are often linked as East Coast West Coast hip hop rivalry, and that was pr- prominent at the time. Tupac yeah. would be fifty two today. I don't know why I thought I would. I thought this was like way longer ago. Than How old is Snoop Dogg? Is. Him and Snoop Dogg were like homies. I'm guessing they're around the same age. What's so crazy to me is like a lot of these artists. Snoop Dogg's 52, right? Yeah. That's, yeah. Wow, Chris. Yeah. What's it called? Um, what was I gonna say? Oh, so many artists look so much older than they are. Even Juice World. Juice World was what, like 20 what? 21, 22. Yeah, yeah that's and crazy. He no, looked, Pop Smoke is the craziest one to He was me. 19. What? Yes. Pop Smoke is, was the craziest one I thought one Pop Smoke was pushing no, no, no. 35. Yeah, he was like Well, 19. it's the voice too, you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. But that shit's so insane. Pop Very Smoke wild. would be 20 years old. Oh, oh wow. no, no, no. He was 20 years old. He How, how old would he be? Pop Smoke. Yes. You want to know what's so OG scary Simpson, to me? I think. Like the day that I get like jury duty. And like have to go do one of these things. I just pretend to be biased, and then you literally can't be a part of it. Actually, yeah. If you have any biased bone in your body, you cannot take part in the jury. Like if if someone if like for like let's say the Young Thug trial for example, if I was like a number one Thug fan and they like book me for the thing, I am not allowed to do it. Yeah, you can't. Know you have to you. have. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, so. you, like even like a Red Sox thing. Like if there was like a Red Sox player that like was in a hit and run or something, and I was like a number one Red Sox fan, not allowed to be a part of the trial. See, okay, but it's cr- imagine just one day. It's crazy that you, like, like you go to jury system still works out of like a jury of your peers. Crazy. I think we it's get a perfect way to do it. Honestly. I agree. I agree. I agree, but like. Let's hear everyone's opinion. I don't know. I don't it's know. no. It's just how cr- many it's jurors crazy? take part in a jury? Nine. I thought it was 12. It's nine. It's definitely nine. I'll Google it though. Okay, but What's like that movie that we watched in I don't, middle school. I know what you're thinking. And it was I'm like, it was sure. like 12 the, angry men, 10 angry men. Is it? Nine angry 12, men. Nick, if it was 12 How angry many men. Jurors? It was about like, it was about a jury and there was a one guy on the opposing side and he got everyone, everyone to, to flip. Sl- yeah. Crazy. No, but like, dude. Oh, it's a group of 12. Yeah. 
I thought for sure it was nine. Nine is how many you need in baseball. Well, so no, maybe. it also it also has to be. <laughs> I don't give a fuck. It also has to be a unanimous decision. That's yeah. what's crazy. No, that's what's great. Oh I like God. that. Yeah. I love that. I love Everybody that. has to be. No, oh but my dude, God, I can't even come to a unanimous being decision like, with the voices in my own head, <laughs> let alone with eleven other people. See, but imagine being like on the jury for like a crazy, crazy serial killer or something like that. Like that's scary. Yeah. Moving forward. Why do mysteries go unsolved? Lack of physical evidence, unreliable witnesses or no witnesses, loss of evidence, cleaned crime scenes. So if the crime mm. scene's just not the crime scene anymore. Evidence that leads to nowhere. No known found murder weapon. Mm. Lack of resources. Timeline of crime solving technology. In 1970s, DNA first was first used to solve crimes. Wow. In 1980s, crime databases helped connect the dots across different states and locations. In the 90s, fingerprint tracking went mainstream. Mm, Think nice. of that. Like if if you weren't born, I know some killers were like, oof, like they gulped when that. Yeah, began. that's just really? crazy to me that the nineties is when the fingerprint. Hold on, happened. I gotta search up something else now. Something it's else so crazy about. to me how easy it was to get away with crime. If In you two thousands forensic forensics being able to match DNA to relatives and family members. Wow, that's crazy. That's crazy to me. Wait, that's how a cold case occurs. No. What it's is a, it again? This is a timeline of crime. Oh, oh yeah. Wow. I just it. searched up, like, how long does, like, a fingerprint last once you touch something? And it says, Days. In, in theory, fingerprints can last forever. In theory. If you in touch theory. dust. Not clean. If it's not cleaned or anything, it can yeah, why would be, it like, go many, away? many yeah. years. It's not going to have wind blow it off. That's insane. Yeah, that's insane, actually. It also is crazy how like every it's also crazy everyone how has different fingerprints. What? It's also I'm just crazy. so uniquely me. It's also okay. crazy how some people when they're getting like killed or murdered or something like that. I saw this one thing where this like person knew that they wanted to leave their DNA like in a car. Like I think it was like some lady was getting murdered in like a car or something. Mm. She's like, if I am in this car, the police will know. Yeah, and she she like ripped out her hair, left some hair on the scene. She like scratched the thing to try to get like her nails, nails and like shit the car under her it. nails. Yeah, and stuff. she like bit the chair and like left her full like bite mark impression in like a chair. Oh, like, what the, a and then champ. It, it ended up like helping them. Of course. Severely. I but, mean, yeah. yeah, that shit's crazy. Just like, just the the whole DNA shit is a mind boggling to me. Mm -hmm. By one piece of hair, you can tell what race someone is like the everything, fucking, like everything about them. Digital footprints and social media is a current crime solving technology. Of course. Yeah. Geographic profiling, trying to predict patterns of behavior and routes for where a suspect might strike again. Yeah. Okay. That's crazy. Psychology of crime. Why do people kill? Psychological disorders, trauma and abuse, desire for control and power, history of violence, personal ideologies or beliefs, and crimes of passion. Criminals are not one size fits all. Understanding these factors requires insight from psychology, sociology, criminology, and neuroscience. Yeah. yeah, it's crazy. I mean, it's just you can never pinpoint like a general reason of why someone's a murderer. You know, not at all. Act. Like it, it for every person, it's gonna be different. You know what I mean? For yeah. every person ever who just murdered somebody, it's like they're gonna have a reason, and no one's ever gonna know that exact reason. Mm -hmm. I have this saying out of not just murders, just in life in general. It's so dumb to talk about other people's life or like why they might have done something. Because no one experiences your life except you. You know what I mean? Even though us three live such similar lives, I'm the only one that's fully experienced everything that I do. Yeah, you know, that's correct. crazy. And that's why it's like sometimes even Matt, if you ever like, even, like Matt will come to me for advice sometimes. And I'll be like, Matt, you do you because you know what? I can give you advice from what I see, but you're the only person. You're more dealing. equipped for this scenario. Yeah. The only yeah. person that can handle something like to the best of the only person that can make a decision for yourself to the best of their ability is yourself because you are yourself. Mm. And that's mm. a lesson beyond all this. Yeah, yeah, that's what's also crazy to think about is like, there's also so many scenarios with like just how modern the world has got and how like 
easy it is to like grow up now because with like social media and like kids i feel everyone's talking about how like kids are growing up way faster yeah where it's like there's someone now who might be like four years younger than me that could come to me for advice but it's just like you're four years younger than me but you've already experienced more than i feel like i have so even though you're four years younger than me like you're more equipped to you know what I think the saddest part about people like because I think of that with like, like hold on but I think of that with like technology yeah where it's like I am more equipped for like technology even though I'm younger than mom but like when mom was growing up she didn't have technology mm-hmm. so it's like when kids are like growing up they usually ask their parents for everything but if I need to know something about like my laptop I'm not gonna go to mom you know what Correct. I mean yeah where it's like that's an that's a poor example but like there's other things where it's like there's just like you may be experiencing something later in life that someone experienced way earlier so it's like you can't really use age as like a factor of yeah. like oh i'm gonna ask this person's advice because they may never never have experienced that yeah one thing that i think is like really sad is like i think that like kids nowadays are growing up so fast because when i was a kid like and like little kid like fucking young 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 kid I just think that, like, I had absolutely zero shame. And that's why most of the kids are, like, the happiest and just do whatever they want because they don't care what other people think. They're just doing whatever. I think kids getting on social media, like, super early so and shit like that, definitely. like, kids are actually starting to care about, like, what their other, like, what other people think. And they're, like, more, like, shameful to be them yeah. themselves. Well, and it's like, there's so many like, public, there's so many the public, like, social norms. Yeah, you know what I, I mean? didn't give a it's fuck like, what I was doing when I was, I saw like, a TikTok 12. the other day and it was, like, little girls. Yeah. And they were like, we're Gen Alpha influencers. Of course, we're going to do skincare routines. And they were like, what the fuck is that? And they were like, <laughs> little girls. And I was like, this is scary to me because it's like, they don't even have, like, they haven't hit puberty yet. Like, you don't have acne. You don't need to be washing yeah, your doing face doing skincare like routines when you have, like. When you're a kid. Yeah. Like, there's nothing. Crazy. You're, you're, you're good. You're good for now. Like, yeah, that shit. Dude, I don't know. I don't know. It's the, like, the it's, it's, it's social media is so. Harmful. It's also it's like crazy terrifying. that like 13 is the year you can just like that you're you're not supposed to use like you're not allowed to use TikTok until you're above 13 years old, which I think yeah. is also crazy. I, feel I like think that's be, a good rule. I think it should be I older. Agree. Yeah, I feel like you shouldn't have like I regret every part of my being that's on social media before I was like 15 years old. Yeah, I agree. I agree. Like everything that I ever posted. Obviously, like we did YouTubes as kids, whatever, and like YouTubes. I, what the fuck are you ancient? <laughs> whatever. We did YouTube when we were kids and shit. Whatever, and it was cool. And like, yeah, we have those memories. But like, I think that kids shouldn't be able to publish something that's eternally on the internet before 15. digital footprint. Bro. I saw. I saw. Digital, you can be like five and like hate day. like chocolate milk or something and make like some crazy video about hating chocolate milk and then yeah. like grow up and love chocolate milk. But like your five year old self that posted a video like hating chocolate milk is going to be on the internet forever i mean yeah, yeah when i was a kid like you'd think i'm still wearing pink to this day with yeah kid my... had so many fucking tough guys, guys wear, wear pink, pink shirts, shirts. but yeah, then also like i saw i saw a tiktok the other day and it was this girl and she was like i wanted to be an influencer so bad when i was a kid that like my digital footprint i literally posted my address and was like meet and greet when i hit a thousand followers and like she just has that's like a her crazy ad, choice for her sure. full address on the internet. No, like, I was trying crazy. to think of like I was going through my memories the other day to see like what is the like thing that I like I was trying to find something mm-hmm. that I would just cringe at myself for doing. Okay. And I was just scrolling and scrolling and scrolling, and I'm just like I, some of the things are just like insane that we were doing like at like m- like when we um. Like, after our house caught on fire, we were living in that little apartment. Yeah. I'm like, bro, some of the photos I took, some of the fits that were put together, some of the times I left the house, I'm like, wow. How about when I found a crew neck that I liked on, like, a fucking, like, Blanks website, and I bought it in, like, 12 different colors? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then I found shorts that I liked, and I bought them in the same 12 colors, and I used to just wear, like... Not monochrome, but like crossover fits. Like I'd wear like a red yep. crew neck and blue shorts, and then a blue, sh- and then like a blue sweater that was the exact same color as those shorts. It's like so crazy too. And like, like I people, just, I just wear crew necks and shorts every I day. I see some people like edit us, and they're like, "I love that shirt on Chris." And I'm like, "Oh my god, that's delete like, that! Forever. <laughs> that's like my least yeah. favorite shirt. Like I, I'm never wearing that again." Yeah. Well, like, cause like all my older stuff, like I, yeah, it's cool, but like I just. Like every single month that goes by, I, I swear to God, I have like a full different, a like, different look. realization of everything every month nowadays, dude. It's also like, I Crazy. think, and I will always say this, like living in Boston and LA at the same time is like, I'll go to Boston and then come back to LA and I'll be like, who was I before I was here? You know what I mean? Every time, <laughs> every time I go to Boston 
and then come back to LA. I get to LA and I just, that is when I sit for like an hour and I'm just like, I really set into like, it's like a new thing every time. Well, it's also like, perspective. I just feel perspective. so, it's also like perspective. Dude, changing perspective. And that's why I love going on tour. That's why I love traveling is like literally just leaving the house and seeing things that you don't see every single day changes your perspective drastically. How did we get here? So drastically. I don't know. But I'm like, happy that's, to be that's like a mind blowing thing for me. Is like I could go, I like lived in Boston my I lived in Boston my entire childhood, moved predominantly to LA and go back to Boston to essentially the same thing I grew up seeing. Like I'll go to somewhere I grew up seeing just again. And I'll be like, oh, my God. And it'll give me so many new ideas and new perspective. And it's like, I've seen you hundreds of times. It's just been a while. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Well, even like taking like my I work on my brand, making like mood boards and stuff. Going back home, I see things I used to see all the time. And I'm like, wait, I actually now have a reason to like see that. I'm like, wait, I want to like change this. Yeah. Do something. Like, I want to make my brand. I think based seeing off something the I most see you can home. see is the most important part of like being a human being that is alive. Like, I fully boom. agree. There's like Whoa. a noise, like a beep. Yeah. Noise or something. It sounded like uh, a dog we're dying. Yeah, it's like a baby. What? It was like, wow. Yeah. Whatever. Anyway. No, but yeah, I think seeing. It sounded like those I like batons that, that yeah. like flip and it's like, wow. 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 Yeah, I know like what that. you're talking about. But yeah. What else were we going to say? Perspective. Travel. Literally walk. Walk outside. Yeah. That's like always my takeaway. It's like, go outside. I could talk forever about like things that like technology and like human beings like as human beings like things that we weren't supposed to have and things that we do have like it's not normal for human beings to like have so much access to like devices and technology Mm -hmm. like that's not normal for like people right Mm -hmm. you need to like go outside and like see things that were here that are meant for you to see like fucking trees and dogs and leaves and grass. I want a dog. I want to like, go outside dog. and roll Oh my god, I want like, a dog so bad. I miss Trevor so much. I can't oh wait god. to see that little fucking dog. He's so cute and chubby. He's the cutest thing in the world. I want a Dalmatian. Me too. That's a long haired Dalmatian. Yeah, I agree. He's like the cutest dog I agree. in the world. You guys, Ending should we get on a, a positive- Sternio or Triplets puppy? I'd love for a content, Sterniola triplet for content. Puppy, but I don't think it not can just happen. for content. But like, <laughs> That's a terrible. No, a triplet puppy no, for I, content. I'm not saying it for content. I'm saying like I'm asking the viewers like, should we get a Sterniola puppy and include and make him it in content? Co- make it, yeah. No, it's so crazy to me how many people just like get dogs, get content like, dogs, content animals, or like come here engagement. <laughs> no, like, seriously, okay. like the amount of content dogs is like unreal, insane. But I also know so many people that have their dog and they love, love their them dog. so much. I know some amazing. I dogs. love when people just love their animal. Yeah, it, it brings me so much. Seeing joy. someone, if seeing we had someone. a dog and raised it all together, it would be the most taken care of dog. dog I think in the actually world. some of my favorite memories when I think of like my closest friends is just me seeing them happy with their dog. Yeah, like I have so many memories. Well, that's just such a beautiful place to see somebody. Yeah, mm. like seeing a friend like pet their dog and like really embrace their puppy is like. They oh just love God. that Such dog. Good that moment. dog loves them. Yeah. Because I just think of Trevor as well, and I think of, like, his favorite people on earth are, like, mom and dad. Right? Mm-hmm. So it's, like, when I see, like, our friends who own dogs, and the dog goes up to them and, like, sniffs them and hugs them, like, you're that dog's favorite person ever. Yeah. Yeah. You're that dog's favorite person ever. Dogs are just so simple, and so they just cute. love you. They love you. They love food. They love walks. Yeah. That's what it's all about. I wish I was a dog. Me too. Uh, ending on a positive note. Yeah. How and dope does it be to be an eyewitness? Like that's, that's what? baller. <laughs> no. Uh, no, that's not what I was going to say. <laughs> I'm good. Ending on a positive note. Communities really band together in times of tragedy. And that's hey, the thing. Amen. Remember when, what's his name? Or not remember because we watched on like TV. We weren't there. But when, um. Richard well, Ramirez got Richard caught, Ramirez and they were all caught, the and they were like, like cheering. Yeah. Even bought the Boston bombing. After that got wrapped up, Boston was never more in unison as a city. Yeah. Right. Was, Everybody just beautiful. loves banding together, mm-hmm. and unfortunately, murder is like an excuse or not, like to. Well, get it's not an excuse. Together. It just shows you how valuable life is and how we should. Yeah, it's like all everybody just gets respect. together. They love it. They love Amen. all being together. Yep. Forensic science continues to advance to bring justice to victims and families. Amen. Imagine yeah. that there's people who like lost their kids like 40 years ago and, and thought they they'd adjusted. never have answers. And it's like forensics, boom, right back at you. Here's everything you wish you knew for the past 40 years of your life. Yep. Here's that information you've been, you've sought after finally. Yep. So bittersweet. Super yeah. bittersweet. Definition of that word. 
They should in bittersweet in the dictionary. It should be like okay, Nick. a solved cold case. <laughs> Genuinely, insane. Nick. Next, that's true. You're I just agree. Insane. Next. You sound stupid. It's not stupid. You just sound Nick, silly. Next. You know what? And I will say this: you you have more opportunity to sound stupid when you consistently speak, and that's okay. all. That's I have what to I say. say every time Matt talks. Yeah. Don't say I sound stupid. Every single stupid. time he disses me like the way I speak or like, oh, you only have the same you five You can't say jokes. I sound stupid you if you're not making sound, bitch. Correct. Period. That's it. I think Matt gets the award for quietest podcast host ever or like least. They should count. give that award out at like the Nick Choice Awards. <laughs> yeah, like, let's see it. I want to see Matt get Nickelodeon slimed. Quietest, quietest fucking host ever matt's gonna have he's gonna start his own podcast and it's gonna be the <laughs> phone vibrates in morris code and that's how you do it he just like whispers and it's like it's like a, it's like a sense Nick, go to like the next thing vibration go to the next thing organization like project cold case cold case exists to advocate for victims and survivors of unsolved homicides that's good amen shout out project cold case and <laughs> cheers to more cold cases being solved. Amen. Cheers to that. Well, thank you guys so much for tuning into this Monday's podcast. Thank you Sorry, for watching. Sorry, it was a little grim and dark, but it's yeah. a scary topic. It's a very curious, like, it's. I'm very curious about it. I feel like a lot of viewers are going to be, and I'm always down to film this type of podcast, because this shit's, like, entertaining to me. Like, mm -hmm. I, I you want to think about it. Interesting. Yeah. yeah. Thank you guys for watching. See you guys soon. See you next Monday. Another great episode. Peace and love. Later.